So the, the, the amount of energy, excess energy produced by, by this reaction was very, very small. But does this really start to clear a path to, to scaling this up to be something that we could use? Well, it's an amazing bit of science that's been done, uh, and it's proved something that people have been looking at, thinking about for trying to do for 50, 60, 70 years to fuse light elements to variants of hydrogen atoms to release vast amounts of clean energy. Uh, that it's been extremely difficult to do. Uh, the Americans built this experiment in the noughties and finished it in about 2009, and they tried extremely hard to make it work for about three years, uh, but it, 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 it wouldn't yield, get more energy out than it put in. And uh, now they've had another go, uh, started in 2020, and they've, they've got this fusion thing to work, and they've got fusion energy out, which is more than the energy they put in. So this is not power tomorrow, but it proves all the science that this is possible, this is a way to go, and it also actually supports the other fusion work that's been done around the world, that, that uh, it's not just that it, this, uh, this can be achieved, which is, uh, as you say, for the longer term, a, a very bright prospect. I and mean, for those of us who don't understand that level of science, can you explain in really easy terms, what's the difference then between nuclear fusion and nuclear fission? OK, uh, if I can try and keep it simple that uh, both of them are to do with releasing energy by putting elements together, the, the, the nuclei of elements together. Fission is, takes heavy elements, and by adding a neutron, these, the neutron, the, the nucleus, becomes too heavy, becomes unstable, and breaks into two and releases energy. That's fission. For fusion, you bang together two very small elements, small nuclei, uh, and quite a number of fusion reactions are possible, but the best one, the easiest one to do, is with two ver variants of hydrogen, what they call deuterium and tritium, ones that have an extra neutron in the nucleus. And people have been trying to do this, what they call DT reaction, deuterium and tr tritium reaction, for 70 years. And here we are, where we're getting energy, fusion energy out, that's released from when these things are stuck together, uh, that's more than the energy required to force them together, to force these uh, positively charged nuclei together. The, the incredible uh, resistance to being uh, put together, you force them together, they, they f form the nucleus of a helium atom and release energy. And that's what's been achieved in California. And what happens in terms 